you're involved in an accident you believe of your making while driving your van and you end up putting a great big dent down the left hand side. At first you tell yourself, I am such a terrible driver, I put a dent in my van. I don't deserve to own a van. Angry with your dented van, you decide to walk to work instead to avoid the attention and try and take your mind off your dented van. But you're still angry one week later and wonder why. The second week you decide to treat yourself to a new song which you listen to while driving your dented van to work. But you are still angry. Still not having enough money to fix your dented van straight away, you find yourself with plenty of time to think differently about it. Does driving a dented van mean I am a bad driver? Can I ever stop people from seeing the dent in my van and thinking what a bad driver I am? Does the dent in my van stop me from getting where I want to go? You're at the traffic lights on your way to work in your dented van. Suddenly another van pulls up alongside yours and it has an even bigger dent and the whole front left hand side is caved in. You think about this. Does it make you feel good about your own less dented van? Do you think about what it would be like to be the driver of the van opposite you? What about the people walking to work on the street? Or the car drivers waiting on the opposite side of the traffic lights? You hear a horn. The light is on green and it's time to go. You park outside where you work and someone you know pulls up alongside you. They get out and jokingly comment about the new dent in your van. Hey, there is a great big dent in your van. That's weird. You reply, hey, there is not a great big dent in your van. That's weird. You then decide to tell him the truth about why it looks that way. On the third week, you are driving along when you see a beautiful woman. You both smile at each other. Do you worry about your van being dented? Do you think she notices the van has a dent? Or is she just focused on your smile? On the fourth week, a mechanic sees a dent in your van and offers to fix it for $400. He says he can beat it back into shape not a total reconstruction, and you will not be able to use your van while it is being fixed. You consider it, but when you think about the dent on your van, you are no longer as angry when the accident first happened. You wonder why. On the fifth week, you've got a hot date. You go to pick her up in your dented van. Do you feel the need to tell her immediately about the dent in your van? You're at the traffic lights, and a Ferrari pulls up alongside your dented van. Your date Charlotte sees it and you feel slightly uncomfortable, but it is not unbearable. On the sixth week, your dented van is not running as well as it used to. Could it be my dent that is slowing me down? By chance you are on vacation in the desert and buy diesel fuel that you have never heard of before from a very old cheap gas station. Upon driving from the desert, your van seems to run a lot better compared to before. Eight years later, your van's engine life is coming to an end. What do you think you will remember the most about your van? Two weeks later you're at the local garage and the salesman is showing you a new van which ironically has a dent in it. Looking at the dent you ask yourself two questions. Would it be my fault or make me angry if I bought a van that already had a dent? Is it possible to always be a good driver and avoid putting a dent 